We have landed. There appears to be no intelligent life form here. Over. Hey guys, it's Jason. Well, it has been some kind of hot this summer. So I went ahead and I sprung for the Ultra Breeze beekeeping suit. I'll start out with showing you what I was using. Um, we'll go from the ground up, I guess. Uh, my boots, my Belleville boots, love those things, super strong. Never had any issues with, with the uh, bees with those, wearing those. Uh, on full inspections, I would go ahead and throw on some thermals. Now we're talking about 80, 90 degree weather, thermals on. Now, I wouldn't always get, put the thermals on, but going all the way to the bottom of a full-blown hive, especially some of my more aggressive ones, I had to have them. Just had to, or you'd walk out of there just whelped up all over. The, uh, this has been my standard beekeeping pants. It's some Carhartts, fairly thick. I guess that's denim. Heavier than just your regular old pair of Levi blue jeans. Uh, they're fairly, fairly heavy. And uh, I added the uh, Dr. Cool shirt. Now, like I say, it didn't much matter when I was wearing the uh, thermals, but on just lighter projects like uh, getting honey out of the honey supers and not actually doing a full inspection of the hive, this made a world of difference. This breathable material, it, it, it made a world of difference. Uh, I'm actually got my black shirt on today and it's, it's nice. I mean, it's like not even wearing a shirt. Breeze blows and it just comes right through it. It's wonderful, wonderful material. Um, and of course the, uh, the old uh, do-rag to keep my hair and out of my eyes and my sweat and the sweat out of my eyes and the jacket this is not very comfortable stuff at all it's it's just as heavy as those Carhartt uh, jeans the the neck part here around the veil is uh, is fairly breathable but uh, but this is fairly heavy uh, fairly heavy uh, cotton and still yet just a couple of weeks ago I managed to get stung through that sleeve and my glove on this hand twice they got me right here and right here uh, it was a one of my smaller hives that I hadn't been in in a while and I opened that thing up and uh, they did not care one little bit that I was packing a gun uh, <laughs> I was just going to add a honey super. They were, it was uh, two deeps, and they looked like they were uh, filling up the uh, the deeps pretty good. So I took one of the uh, honey supers that got uh, out of that hive that got robbed out, and uh, I was going to set it on top of uh, on top of that hive. And I opened that hive up, leaned over to set the lid down, and I raised back up, and they kind of on me like I don't know what. Uh, and like I said, got right through the the jacket and the glove. But uh, but anyway, let me go get the uh, get my new suit. It's the Ultra Breeze. This thing is pricey. Uh, most of your full full body suits are are 150 bucks at the most, and this thing came in through Amazon, uh, at, at which the Ultra Breeze website itself it's uh, closer to 300 dollars, but Amazon had somebody carrying them for uh, uh, 259 uh, plus tax and. Uh, Anyway, so I ordered it and uh, let me show it to you. It's real Really interesting. I'll be right back Okay, so here's the new uh, The new deal Gonna be wearing these stylish uh, Lightweight 
shorts. Of course, my nice bright yellow do rag. Keep the uh, sweat out of my eyes. My Dr. Cool vented uh, t shirt. And the Ultra Breeze full B suit. I'm not real excited about this this kind of veil. I like the uh, the the hat type better than this, but uh, but that's all they offer. And something that it says in the uh, paperwork is that uh, the veil tends to uh, have problems more than the suit itself, and that you can repair the veil with duct tape, and they offer the veil separately wasn't real excited to read that but i've got a funny feeling it's probably because people throw the veil in the washing machine with the with the suit and that's probably where the where the damage comes from and i've always hand washed my veil uh, i've i've thrown my jacket uh in the washer but i usually take the veil off and uh, and hand wash it and uh, i'm figuring with the price of this thing and its material, <clears throat> I'll probably gonna, I'm probably going to be hand washing this thing, the whole, the entire thing when I wash it. But it's, it's three layers. And if you can see here, let me bring you up a little closer here. It's got a layer of real fine mesh on the inside, on the outside. Um, the pockets are mesh. Uh, everything's mesh. Then it's got, I'll show you the inside. The inside layer is actually not quite as fine a mesh as the outside layer. It's, it's got uh, bigger holes in it. It's uh, uh, almost like a dip net uh, material. But then in between is this foam rubber like mesh. And it's, uh, it's probably, uh, a quarter inch thick maybe even more than that uh, not a quarter inch I, I mean about an eighth inch thick uh, little beads uh, joined together uh, it's uh, I don't know we'll have to see it's uh, they say it provides a excellent protection uh, against wasps and honeybees but uh, note here it's got extremely long leg zippers that ought to make it uh, easy to get in and out of um, of course it's got the the front zipper as well very long to help you climb in and out of there the ultra breeze ventilated beekeeping suits and jackets I went ahead and went with the full suit instead of the jacket just to give me that extra comfort um, because I'm going to tell you guys, I've been dying out there this year. It, it's been hot. But uh, let me trade out my clothes here. And I'll, uh, I'll put this thing on. Another reason I went with the full suit is it was so time consuming to get dressed out uh, with the other gear. You know, you go in the house, you put on the thermals, you put on the pants, you put on the thermal top, you put on the... And then you come outside, and you put on the gloves, and you put on the jacket, and then you tie your pants legs together with some string or tape so that the bees can't climb up your pants legs. That's another reason I went with the full suit, is it's got some very, very tight elastic around the uh, legs. I shouldn't have to fool with the extra step of putting the string or tape around my ankles. Uh, so let me trade out clothes here. You guys are going to see me. I never go out in public in short pants. <laughs> I never wear short pants. But let me uh, let me switch out and uh, and uh, uh, and we'll we'll put this thing on and uh, and and let you see how quick it goes on. Uh, <clears throat> this will only be the second time I've actually tried it on. So be right back. Okay. Let me. Uh, See if I can get back over here where you can see what I'm doing. Uh, hopefully the relocation of the microphone isn't going to 
aggravate. But let's see what we can do here about getting in this thing. Maybe y'all can still hear me. I will mention this thing has got quite the smell to it right out of the box. But Velcro wrist closures. get very tight These uh, these brass zippers are very high quality. Okay. I, thought I was thinking it had a little flap that went over that. Uh, Zipper part, but maybe that's my other jacket. There we go. Wow. I realize I look like a spaceman, but uh, I realize I look like a spaceman, but this thing is <laughs> very cool. I mean, it doesn't weigh very much, lightweight, uh, and breezy. I mean, it's it's like I'm standing here in t-shirts and t-shirt and shorts uh, I can feel the feel the cloth against me just a little bit but uh, for the most part this little light breeze that's blowing is coming coming right through uh, it's is uh, now the real test is going to be sting protection uh, but I mean it's it's way off of my skin I mean the top layer is at least an eighth inch off my skin uh, probably a little more than an eighth inch uh, and that went on quick I couldn't have uh, I couldn't have put the string on both of my pants legs in the time that it took me to put this entire suit on so uh, in the coming weeks we'll be doing uh, doing uh, reviews on this suit uh, to see if it's worth the uh, uh, the 250 plus dollars that they uh, that they uh, price tag that they put on it. Oh, uh, it's got very deep pockets on each leg for your hive tool. So you actually, if you're left-handed or right-handed or are prone to lose your hive tool, you've got a spot to uh, to put two of them. And uh, I doubt they're going to fall out. That's a very deep pocket. So anyway guys, got an electrician coming over here in a few minutes to uh, rewire a couple of plugs in the house and uh, so I'm not going to have time to get in the beehives today but, uh, but you'll be seeing reviews on this suit in the coming weeks. So y'all take it easy. Jason, out.